I'm just in love <laughs> with it. It is just incredible to see an airplane that I actually flew. And the F, F-102 sitting here saying, I flew that airplane at so many different places. Wonderful. You have to love what you're doing. You know, there are some things people hate. Uh, they get right out, they can't handle it. Uh, for me, I loved airplanes. I lived in the traffic pattern of LaGuardia, and that's what got in me interested in airplanes. And somehow I said I wanted to fly, and even though I wasn't a pilot at first, I never gave it up and went to pilot school two, two months short of the max age. And uh, they let me do that, and I wound up beating everybody in the class. I was number one in the class and got the only single seat fighter in the class by not giving up, even though I started off as a navigator. And uh, it, that was something, I'll never forget that. Being, just doing what you want, but doing it well. This is the original color. The ones that were kept longer, like the, I flew in uh, Germany were all uh, camouflaged. This one's here was nice and bright and shiny, just the way you see it is how I flew it in Iceland. This is the angle of attack from the aircraft that will give you the idea of how high the nose is when you're slowing down, and we'll read that in the cockpit. Or, as you speed up, it will come right on down until you're level, like that. And uh, very important to uh, control the aircraft. This is what you open up just before you uh, fire. And they come out and they fire off. And I'm glad I didn't really have to fire at anybody. It means that um, hmm, we were okay. The vertical tail is really nice in the fact that uh, unlike most airplanes, uh, it acts, the wings and that act as uh, one unit. Instead of having uh, wings in the front and a tail and a vertical stabilizer, this one does it all with uh, just the three items. It makes the airplane very stable. You can slow down at a very nice angle like that. Delta wing like this here is uh, better than a straight out wing in some ways. When you're launched after the Russian bombers, you really need some extra fuel. Yeah, that's one engine burning a lot of fuel back in there. No refuel available on it. Once in a while we had, we had one or two airplanes that had refuel, but uh, you wanted to get back. And I've landed uh, a couple of times where uh, I was just about empty. The Russians didn't like me uh, intercepting them. They'd always be going, move out. And I just take off my mask sometimes and smile and put it back on. And I just sit there. Uh, when the time was up, uh, I figured enough time, I just break off. In fact, one day I broke off on, from the right wing, came over and went straight up just in front of the airplane. He had to fly through my wake. The young kids, I, I, I'd like to show them the airplanes and do all that. Show them what you have to do and that you can have a lot of fun flying. But uh, you gotta be careful because you know, a lot of my uh, cohorts uh, got themselves killed. So it's not the safest thing to do, but uh, I never crashed. Mm -hmm.